I'm Coyote Peterson, and today I'm going to kayak to North Bass Island to show you one of the rarest reptiles on the planet, the Lake Erie water snake. There's one. If you get bit, you're definitely going to bleed. Alright, so what I'm looking for today is one of the rarest snakes on the face of the planet, the Lake Erie water snake. This species is only native to the Erie Islands, and right now we're on North Bass where these snakes completely roam free. I'm going to catch one of these so that you guys can see just how cool this snake really is. We're going to comb the shoreline, you're going to follow me, and hopefully we're going to catch one. All these large rocks like this, the snakes will sit up in sun, dive off the edge into the water to go hunt. I'm hoping to scare them out so then I can jump after the snakes. The water's crystal clear, and that means I'll be able to see the snakes once they dive in. Oh, it's behind you. Jeez, that is a baby Lake Erie water snake. I saw it dart off the edge, and then I lost it as I kind of disturbed the bottom. What's really cool about the babies is they have these very distinctive bands that kind of disappear as they get older. When they get older and big, they kind of just turn this dark gray color. Now this snake is probably a newborn and the mother like your water snake is going to have anywhere between 25 and 40 babies and they give birth to live young and this snake will grow to be about three and a half, four feet long and that's what we're really looking for today is a big Lake Erie water snake. There's one! There we go, that's a pretty good sized one right there. That is the Lake Erie water snake. And the typical signs of aggression, he's trying to bite me right from the start. And these guys are non-venomous, but you get bit, you're definitely gonna bleed. Wow, that is a good, ow, jeez. Yeah, he just took the tip of my finger and sliced it open. Okay, hold on, let me try to get him under control a little bit better. All right, hold on, calm down, buddy. Wow, that is a good sized snake. Um, let me get him up onto the edge here. Jeez, look at that. He just sliced the top of my finger open. Wow, that's probably, what, a good three and a half foot long snake. All right, let me get him up here and try not to get bit a second time. My finger is bleeding so much because there's actually an anticoagulant in the saliva of all water snakes. The anticoagulant prevents the blood from clotting and that's just gonna keep bleeding and bleeding. Now, one of the reasons the people were so afraid of these snakes, let me see if I can get him to kind of puff his head up, they'll actually form their head into a V-shape, which makes them look like water moccasins. Now, water moccasins are very dark in coloration, almost resemble these snakes identically. And that's why people thought, this is a venomous snake, I need to kill him off of the island. Not the case, though. The only reason you get bit, like I just did, is I ran and jumped in and grabbed a hold of him. And these snakes really just want to be left alone. And the reason that I wanted to catch him is so you could get the chance to see a species that was almost wiped off the face of the planet. And these guys just camouflage so incredibly well. Let me just see if I'm getting to... <laughs> gonna go into the rocks here. You see that? He blends in almost perfectly with the colorations in these different shades of rocks. It allows these guys to stay hidden as they go out hunting along the floor of the lake looking for round gobies. Now, the reason I think this snake is so cool is because it's only native to the Erie Islands. Once an endangered species, these guys are rebounding back and actually helping the ecosystem because they're eating the invasive round gobies. So I'm going to let this guy go so he can go out there and eat some of those nasty little buggers. All right, what an adventure. Time to head back to the mainland. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you guys next time. If you thought that was one wild adventure, check out these other animal encounters. And don't forget, subscribe to follow me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail.